Hello, this is Mark Wilson from GuruFodder.com with a short video to show the benefits of using the Flock browser. Now, this I find is brilliant, particularly for anybody involved in social bookmarking. Uh, there's a number of reasons, and we'll cover those. Now, first of all, we need to go to Flock. Let me just show you what the homepage of Flock looks like, and we need to download the browser. This isn't instead of Internet Explorer or Firefox, whatever you might be using at the moment. You can download this and use either or. Um, once you get used to it, I think you'll find you're using Flock more and more. So once you've downloaded uh, and it's been installed, we need to go and find some add-ons. Now I've already opened a tab here in the browser and this is the Firefox add-ons page. Flock themselves don't have a great range at the moment although all of the Firefox add-ons should work because Flock is actually powered by Mozilla. Now the one that I'll show you that I think is essential is Session Manager and the benefit of Session Manager is if you've got a range of different tabs open at any one time and your system crashes Session Manager will remember what you had open and those can be recovered. Additionally you might want to save for yourself a range of tabs and then reopen all of those tabs at a later date. So just click Add to Firefox it asks if you want to install and you click Install now um, I won't do that because I've already got this installed but you'll find that it will ask if you want to add to um, Firefox don't worry about that it works with Flock now once that is downloaded you'll find it in Tools Add-ons and session manager there. Once you activate that Flock will want to close down and reopen and then it's available for you. Something else I was asked about was adding to the sidebar so you'll see that there's a range of sidebars just move that slightly. Um, first of all we've got people and this will show the people you're following on Twitter, on Facebook, YouTube and it's very simple just to add anything to your own Twitter post or you could for example send a message to Ed Dale. Very very useful. Now if we go to this button here which is the favorite sidebar this will list everything that you've added here so in my favorites toolbar here I've got most of the social sites that I use listed down here and I've also got a link to easy hyperlinks which is the reason why this video is being made because I was asked to show how I'm using that now first of all we'll delete that so simply right right click and delete and I've already got it open in the tab over here so I'll show you how simple it is so uh, there's the page and if we come back over here all we need to do is left click and drag it where you want and then each time you're looking to use that program just click on the toolbar and you're done some of the other features which are really cool uh, is that you can have a separate toolbar for your feeds so this is your RSS feeds and I've got mine in different folders technology, sports, entertainment um, accounts these are 
Facebook, YouTube. Once you've set these up, entered your password and usernames, then you can log in automatically. If you find that the page is getting cluttered, then just close the toolbar and you go to a normal full screen. That's it for now. I hope you found that useful and start to use Flock. Thank you.